Welcome to our channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified whenever our new video comes out. In the Mountains is a short story by Ruth Prawler Javala. It is a third-person point of view by an unnamed narrator. The story deals with independence, contentment, and acceptance. This tale revolves around Pritam, a woman living independently on an Indian mountainside despite being in her thirties. Her family, except her mother who came early, plans to visit her during their yearly Simla trip. Pritam's disheveled appearance worries her mother, who disapproves of her lifestyle. Unexpectedly, Dr. Sahib, a neighboring figure perceived as disreputable, pays a visit. Pritam's family is set to arrive the next day, and her mother's desire to remain with Pritam and clashes with her disapproval of Dr. Sahib. Pritam spends an entire night conversing with the doctor who is a mystic and believer of reincarnation and past births. Upon her family's arrival, her mother scolds her for not inviting the doctor, prompting Pritam's hasty departure from her own house. While sitting atop a nearby hill, Pritam beckons Bobby, her cousin's husband, to join her. They share a bottle of whiskey, reminiscing their past spent together where they used to converse about serious topics. Returning to the gathering, Pritam is informed of her mother's refusal to depart with the family members. Despite Pritam's explanations about the lack of accustomed comforts, her mother insists on staying so Pritam concedes. Once the guests leave, she called her doctor friend to share the leftover meal. Pritam has chosen to distance herself from urban life but she maintains an unconventional friendship, without any romantic undertone, with her neighbor, Dr. Sahib. She cares for Dr. Sahib, who struggles despite his family's limited financial support, by providing shelter when the roof of his house collapses or by occasionally providing him with meals. She helps him despite her family's disapproval of her lifestyle. Her family criticizes her, valuing materialism. Still, she remains generous, inviting him for a meal after her family has left home. Even though Pritam's mother might not completely approve of how Pritam chooses to live, she still supports her and respects Pritam's decisions about her life. She doesn't stop her or force her to do things she doesn't want to do, like going back to Delhi. Pritam chooses to live in isolation on a mountainside despite societal norms. Her independence emphasizes the theme of self-reliance and the desire for solitude. Her mother represents an older generation's traditional values and expectations, while Pritam embodies a younger generation's desire for personal freedom and autonomy. This creates a generational conflict about lifestyle choices. Neither Dr. Sahib nor Pritam are focused on making lots of money or worrying about what people think. They live on their own terms, which is pretty different from how Pritam's family and others live. Even though they don't have much money, Pritam doesn't lack anything essential. This shows that a person can be content without needing a lot of money. Even though Bobby is married to Pritam's sister, they once had strong feelings for each other, which Pritam can manage now. This might not have been the case when she was younger. Pritam can sense when Bobby is honest or not, unlike when she was less experienced with their relationship. Some may think that living in the mountains made her tougher, but it might not be entirely true. The sharing whiskey could indicate a connection between them, like a shared understanding. Her mother stays with her, suggesting acceptance of Pritam's chosen life, even though it lacks familiar comforts. Pritam's mother's approval of Dr. Sahib indicates a shift. She encourages Pritam to share food with him, showing openness to their relationship.